Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about Snow Peak chairs. So it just dawned on me the other day that I have just about every Snow Peak chair. Well, granted, I don't have the luxury version of the low beach chair or the high back version of the take chair. Aside from that, I have a pretty good understanding of how each chair feels. So in this video, I wanted to kind of go over how each chair works, how each chair feels, and try and help you decide which chair is actually right for you and your camp setup. So the Snow Peak Low Beach chairs were actually the very first chairs we purchased from Snow Peak. And the reason we did so was because we thought at the time it would be the most versatile chairs for our camp setup. And I have to say, to this day, I 100% agree with that statement. I truly believe the Low Beach chair is the most versatile chair out there. Like, period. It's, it's one of the best camping chairs ever built. I want to emphasize that because it is extremely well made. Take a look at the hinges here and the fabric and the armrests and it's just there's nothing that's not quality about this chair and it's so simple in design that it makes it a really timeless piece of furniture that you're going to have with you for years and years out there. And I've taken this chair out with me on just about every trip I've been on. And I have to say, after a year of being out there in the field, it still looks brand new, aside from a couple scratches on the bottom. I've used this chair around the fire where, where um, burnt pieces have flown off into it and I was able to just dust it right off, no burn holes or anything like that. I've spilt food and drinks on these chairs and just wiped them down and they dry up and clean up easily. I have a three year old, he climbs all over them and you know, these chairs just hold up really well. They're really well built, they're really sturdy and I think it has to do with just the frame on here, the way they've structured it. It's, it's a really well made chair and it's a really comfortable chair also. So we ended up choosing the high back chair versus the luxury low chair mainly because of the price and we also like just that extra height. I mean, the teak handles look fantastic along with the black frame, but at the same time, we really like the height of this chair. However, one of the advantages of going with that luxury low beach chair is it folds up smaller. Having a little bit shorter of an option could be necessary depending on the type of vehicle or where you plan on packing it. So I'd say it's a toss up on which one you go with. They're both gonna be comfortable chairs, but just know that the high back um, gives you a little bit more headroom and neck room depending on your height and it gives you a little bit more option to kick back I'd say with that ottoman as well. So folding the low beach chair is relatively easy. You just start from the bottom here, grab one corner and then grab the top corner. Don't grab the armrest. Push in and then just tuck the fabric and then you're good to go. I like to just grab the sleeve now and put it on from top to bottom. And that way the feet are always sticking out. I just find it easier and it also keeps my bag a lot cleaner so the dirt's not trapped in the bottom. Uh, I always make it a habit also too if it's like really muddy out or something like that to just wipe down the legs really quick before I pack it away. It doesn't take long but it's a few seconds and it honestly saves a lot more cleanup when you get home. So wiping stuff down is, is one of the big ways to shut off time when you get home and have clean furniture and clean items back on your next trip. So the next chairs we actually ended up getting were the take chairs. And I actually haven't had the take chairs very long, but I really do like these chairs. I've always liked the aesthetic of them, but I never sat in it originally. Actually, the only chair we sat in when we were buying our original Snow Peak setup were the low beach chairs because we're like, oh, okay, this is the chair that's gonna work. And we said, we don't really even need to try the rest of the furniture. This was, we were already pretty set on this chair. But I've always liked the aesthetic of the other chairs and, and, and have been interested in them but didn't necessarily need them. And I still think I don't really need any other chair as well. I would have been just fine just having the low beach chair. So the take chairs actually give you a pretty different sitting style. It's more laid back and relaxed feeling, I'd say. It's quite comfortable, um, but it's definitely different. So in the take chairs, your feet almost are kind of propped up a little bit and you can almost find it very comfortable if you just lift one foot up and relax, it's almost I, it's hard to describe. I mean, it probably depends on your height as well. I'd imagine a tall person would not be comfortable or somebody with longer legs wouldn't be comfortable. I'm 5'8", and I find it's pretty much perfect for me. If you have longer legs than I have, I think it could potentially cut into your thighs a little bit and maybe be a little bit uncomfortable. It's a completely different sitting experience than the low beach chair. The take chairs give you a more relaxed, laid back type of feel. You're kind of sitting into it and sinking into it and whatever you're focused on, whether it's sitting around the fire, enjoying your coffee, reading a book, this is the chair that's fantastic for that. So for just sitting and not cooking, 
or doing anything else really. I mean, we have eight in them also and it's just fine too. You have to kind of like pick up your food and like eat it. It's totally fine, like you can do it. But for just sitting and relaxing, it's a really comfortable chair. And I've tried the high back chairs also and they are extremely comfortable as well. The reason I skipped the high back for, and went with the low ones is mainly because of that height. There's a pretty big height difference and those, and the high back one is pretty tall. So I, I have a small vehicle and I don't really have the room for it right now. If you have the space, I can't recommend that high back chair enough. Alright guys, so the last chair we're going to talk about are the Snowpeak folding chairs. The classic folding chairs have been around forever and they're fantastic chairs. I went with this color, it was a little bit more expensive because I really like that darker uh, gray shade that they had with the black frame. It looked really cool and I also wasn't really planning on taking this one out. In fact, I'm using them right now upstairs in my room where I created a little office in a corner using a single action medium table and two of these Snowpeak folding chairs and they've worked out really great for that situation. I've sat in them for hours now at a time and they're pretty comfortable for the most part. It, now don't get me wrong, they're not going to be a supportive chair where you're going to want to sit 8 plus hours in a day. It's just different than an office chair where it offers that lumbar support and different features like that. But for just sitting casually and you know even just drinking your coffee in the morning and getting a little bit of work done, looking at emails, replying to comments on YouTube, stuff like that. It's perfect for that. It's a really nice sitting experience and it's so simple in design. I think that's the key thing with Snowpeak furniture and just Snowpeak products. They're so simple in the design, but they're so well thought out that it makes it almost that level of perfectness that, is that a word? Perfectness? It almost, yeah, just for me at least, it reaches that level of just really nice design and quality where they match and it's just so simple that it's just great. I mean, you can look at the design of this chair here and you can see from the framing to just the fabric, the way it's just looped here, it's very simple. It's very simple, but it's very comfortable. So as you sit in this chair, you can sit upright and type and get work done and you can even eat food and drink your coffee upright. And when you're thinking about something or if you're just having a conversation with somebody, you can actually sit back in this one because this backrest here lets you really sink into it. The folding mechanism on this is also equally genius as every other Snowpeak product that I've come across. Um, you start by folding this top in here, grab the sides, lift it up, and you have a nice little buckle here where you can keep it all together so it's not going to flop out on you. And, all right, well that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this one, guys. If you have any questions about the chairs or anything else in general, Make sure to comment down below. Other news, we recently hit a thousand subscribers on here, everyone. Pretty insane, thank you guys. And I feel like we're growing a really nice community here of people who just love spending time outdoors. But thank you guys for all supporting the channel and helping us grow and reach that thousand subscribers. I honestly never thought this channel would do that, so this is insane for us. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Oh, you see it.